So today we're gonna do stuffed chicken. And I know it sounds daunting, but I promise it's super simple and you can adapt it and make it in 101 ways. So you pick a meat, and I have today chicken, but you can do pork, you can do steak, whatever meat you want. And you're actually gonna first butterfly it. So all that means is you're gonna find a fatty, the fatty part, a thicker part of the meat, and you're gonna put your knife down and you're just gonna make a slit and cut towards the center. Uh, be careful with your hands here. But the one little trick is you don't wanna go all the way. You want it to go far enough so it opens like a butterfly. Just like that, so it opens up. And now, just like every chef always says, you wanna season it a little bit. So we're gonna do some pepper. And the seasoning just helps uh, tenderize the meat and also just gives it a bonus flavor. Can't go wrong. Just a little bit. I always pour too much salt. So we're gonna go nice and light on this. All right. All right, so now this is the fun part. You're gonna stuff away. So you're gonna grab whatever cheese you want. I have blue cheese on hand, but you can do cheddar, brie, gruyere, goat, whatever cheese you'd like. And you're gonna hold off one side and just pour some in the center, just like that. And you're gonna move it around. I like a lot of cheese in mine, so I'm gonna pour a little more. You just wanna be careful to not pour too much because you don't want the cheese to fall out. So see how some are falling? I'm just gonna try to tuck them in. All right, so now that it's stuffed, all you have to do is put it on a heated skillet. And now this is where you can do a couple different versions. If you want it on the healthier side, you can just do some Pam spray. Um, if you want it a little better, you use some oil. And the cool thing about the oil is that it'll help sear, uh, sear one side of it. And all that means is that it's gonna give it a brown, nice texture to it. So we're just gonna take this, and I have some oil down on my pan. Oh, the sizzle. That's what you want to hear. So now, with chicken or pork, uh, meats like that, you do wanna cook it all the way through. So I'd recommend about four minutes a side. Uh, basically, you're gonna have to eyeball it, look, see if it's fully cooked through. Like, you can prick a little piece of it. Uh, and with steak, you can do it to how you'd like. You can do medium rare, medium, as long as it's a good cut of steak. So now we're gonna wait four minutes and then we're gonna flip it over. So now that four minutes have elapsed, we're gonna just get some prongs. If you don't have that, you can use a fork and a knife uh, and you're gonna flip it over. Just like that. Look at that awesome sear. Now this is also a bigger piece of chicken, so it might take a little longer to cook through. That's why you're just gonna have to keep checking in on it. You can also press it down a little. You don't wanna go too much because you like the juices inside the chicken. You don't wanna dry it out. So if you wanna double check to make sure that your meat's cooked through, there's no harm in just making a little cut and taking a peek in. Now, it looks like it needs about a minute more. It's still a little pink in the center. So we're just gonna keep it on. But it's just a really nice trick and you can hide it by flipping the chicken over. Pretty cool. I'll do that right now, actually. So now that it's fully cooked through, carefully lift it off the pan. And you got it nice on your plate. All right, now we get to dive in. So the coolest part is that you get the blue cheese everywhere with every bite. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. And we got a nice sear on it so you get a little crispiness and then the creaminess from the blue cheese. I'm going in for some more.